Welcome to the Master Wong TV show. Before I start, I need to announce you something first. FV on the show so people know. We got someone making the app, okay, on the iTunes store selling on the Wing Chun. And what did they do? They're putting somebody on the, the cover of someone else's face and link the video to the Wing Chun training on the Master Wong site on YouTube and then for people to download. If you are out there, Binding this app on the iTunes store. You need to contact them and claim your money back because we made this video for YouTube customer to watching for free and some prick try to make money out of us. And that is bad news. Thing you need to do is contact them and claim your money back. At the moment, we dealt with iTunes a moment, try to sort them out. In the meantime, I need to find out this geezer, where they are, or the company. I will go there personally myself and fucking teach the fucker a lesson and make sure I made that app called Don't Fucking Nick People Stuff. But this is why we do this for free and people try to rip me off. But we dealt with them in a minute. Let's get into the show first. Don't get too exciting. We're gonna fix them. Okay, let's see what we got on there today for you. Okay, Boris. He said, Master Wong, do you think that grappling is very much underestimated in many martial art? That is very true. Everybody underestimates something because they don't know much about. If you know much about the particular style, what is it grappling is, then you don't underestimate them. And it's not that easy to do. It's very hard to perform to make the movement work. That's why a lot of time, nine out of ten, when you see the fight in the real situation, will end up to the ground, and that's the problem. Because in the street, every fight even end up in the ground. That's exactly what I just saying. And Wing Chun is there are special attention on ground fight. A lot of people do Wing Chun and add on the ground stuff to helping them to deal with this problem. Unfortunately, Wing Chun, okay, it don't deal with this. Wing Chun is upright, go in straight like the strength, the steam, go straight line and do the damage, okay? It's not designed to go in and then go down the ground when you bend your body like that. It don't design like that. So a lot of people, when they do Wing Chun, they try to add that particular element onto it, okay? To make it like the, 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 the whole system to train. Nowadays, into 21st century, it's good to, to, to put the Wing Chun and then add some grappling on. But you have to understand the purpose behind it. What you're doing on the training and then you're grappling. How are you going to grab? Okay. A lot of time you need to know. A lot of UFC training, they end up down the ground because they got mad. So when you throw and finger down the ground, you go down the ground, you grab hold of them, your knee go down first. But unfortunately, into the street size, it's got concrete on the floor. Soon you start to grab with something, chuck them down the floor, you mess up your knee, you won't be able to stand up again, okay? So a lot of time when you're training, you need to know the purpose behind the uh, element you put onto it. If you don't understand it, just rambly put it on, then we're gonna have problem because you don't know how to use the damn thing properly. And then when you come to it, you don't know when to grab it or when not to, and that is why it's not gonna happen and it's not work because your movement or whatever you're doing, it don't make it functional for you. As you can see a lot of time on our chi sao training, we put a lot of this movement on, okay, on the chi sao. Chi sao is designed in a close ring. When it's grappling ring, when it's grappling ring, I need to move around the person and know where they are and locate the body before I start to grab them, chuck them down the floor or grabbing them and deal with them. 95% of the time in a real situation fighting, you are in a grappling mode. When you're punching, punching somebody grab over you, you're in the shit. You're grappling. And then you're struggling around and that's where you end up down the ground. That's why many people training, they want the training onto the ground training to help them to help deal with this situation. So you got to know, is it good or not? Is it, people, an estimate, is it good? Now, depend what you're training on and who teaching you. Is it for the tournament training? Or is it 
for the real life street training. Okay, that's got two different things. If it's for real life street training, then certain things you don't do with it. Okay, because you got to remember, you got no mat on the floor. You go down the floor with your knee, boy, your knee is broken. If you are doing tournament, that's a different. So this is why you got to be know what you're looking for. All right, that's all we got for you today. And then that's answer the question about Wing Chun and then using for ground. Now, this is subscribe to us from YouTube, A4 Skyly, okay, from YouTube, okay? And then this one here from training, Boris, claim your free download. Actually, we do have ground stuff on it, but we didn't, we don't put it out for, for download, so you won't um, able to do it, but really into our system, onto the Wing Chun side, we have the special section for combat fighting, and we use it for the street, and we do have ground stuff onto it, and then using it for, uh, for fighting uh, onto the Wing Chun side, onto the combat side, okay? Not a normal one, on a combat one. We do do that on ourselves, but I don't know about other people putting that on, do that on their Wing Chun God or not, I'm not sure. So that's your question. So anybody got any question or anything like that, then go to the Mars One Forum, and then put a comment, uh, um, uh, email to us, uh, put a question on there, and I try to answer your question. Okay, see you then. I will see you on the next lesson, next uh, show. Bye bye.